Hello everyone, I want to go over what you will be experiencing in the math section of the NJSLA. Um, this is the directions page, which I will not go over because you will go over that with your teacher in the room. Go ahead and click start. Now, here's my first question, but before I get into how I'm going to solve it, I just want to draw your attention to the tools that you will see um, in the math test, or the math portion of the NJSLA. So, I have my arrow keys. I have my review, just like I had in language arts. I can bookmark a question. I have my pointer, which is currently selected. I have an inch ruler, but if centimeters is more your thing, I have a centimeter ruler. I have my answer eliminator. Nothing to eliminate here, so I can't even select it. And I have a protractor. If you didn't notice, the way you turn these tools off is by selecting them again. So um, that's what I got there. To go ahead and plug in my answer and click next. Right, this is a uh, simple multiplication. So let's see how I do. We'll carry the one. Wait. There we go. Pretty, pretty pleased with that. All right. All right. So now I have a bunch of stuff going on here. Right. I have to solve my or solve my problem. So that's where I'm going to put my answer. And then I've got to show my work, and I can put in any of these signs, right? And then look, when the parentheses come up, I can do two over four plus three, close parentheses, right? You can close parentheses by uh, hitting enter or just getting out of there. And then same thing down here, I have my symbols. There's my fraction. Oh, there's your mixed number, I'm sorry. There's your fraction. Right? You have options. We'll go ahead and trash that. So again, to get rid of your work here, you're going to highlight and you can hit the trash just to start over. But you get the feel for how that all works. All right, let's see. Drag and drop. So we got to do this. A little bit of that. All right, then we're going to do a little bit of this. Right? And then we're going to do a little bit of that. And then I think our last one here. Right? And your answer should look something like that. Now, let's say that's no good. I pulled that out, but that was good. So I'm going to put it back in. Right? And can I reorganize? I sure can. All right. Pretty pleased. Moving on. All right. And then with this one, again, you're at a drag and drop. So I drag, I click, I drag, I click, I drag, I drop. All right, which numbers make the comparison true? All right, and then we can select two correct answers here. So we'll go ahead and select one, and then we'll select two, and then we'll move on. All right, then here's your question. Right. And up here, I want to type the number five. And then explaining my awesome answer. You guys actually write something there, not just explain my awesome answer. Now I want to check and see what happens if I control C and V. So just like in language arts, if you need more room, you have it. You do not have to stick with the small workspace. And don't forget, you have all of these symbols that you can work with within that space. All right, let's see, question eight. All right, so we'll do that plus, uh, let's go with that, equals s, and then I could have also done it another way, but you get the idea. Right? And then part B, we're going to write, put that in. Oop. I uh, actually noticed I did this, right? And then I didn't want to, so I did uh, Control Z, and that undoes what I just did. You can also, like I showed you before, click the trash can to remove. 
All right, so let's see here. 7 over 10 might be the answer I'm looking for. All right, let's continue. All right, uh, which two of these represent the fraction? All right, so I think that is this and that. All right, and then we'll move on to number 10. 10, that is 58. All right, number 11 is A. Next, and then this is just math symbols again, so I'm going to write the 1 over 1 equals um, awesome at math. Or, you know what, I could be British. Maths. No, we're in New Jersey. Let's stick, we'll stick with math. All right. And then once again, I'll click the next question. So from here, I can either submit my final answers, go to unanswered, or check out my bookmarks. If you have any questions, you may address them to your teachers now. Um, good luck. You're all going to do great on the mathematics section of the NJSLA.